In the last video, I explained how we can add authorization to a user to use an SAP Fury application. And we added the manage costing run transaction. Now today, I'm trying to use this transaction and I'm getting an error. So I will show you how we can solve the errors that we get when we try to run the different SAP Fury applications. So first of all, when I click on the application, it takes a lot of time to load and then I get an error. Looks like it will take a time to show the error or it can even stay like this for a long time and at the end we run into a runtime error. But anyway, there is something wrong and I don't have time to waste. So let's move on to the next step. We have an error with this application. The first step we do is we check the error log. To see the error log for SAP Fury, you find it in SAP GUI under this transaction, as I explained in the last video. So again, I will leave you the transaction code in the video description. So open the transaction. And here, as you see, under my name, there are three errors. Now let's see what are these errors and how we can solve them. So I will go to number 23 first. Double click on the number and here you have the error description. So the error context, no service found for namespace fml underscore inv blah blah version 001. So this is a missing service. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate the service. So first I need to copy this uh, service name. So I will click on XML format. And from here, I can copy the service name. Also, there are other details like the SAP note number. So this note, if you check, but of course you need an SC user to be able to check the SAP note, it will explain the different steps you need to do in order to solve errors. And I already have experience with this note. This is how I learned how to solve the different errors in SAP Fury. So now I will close this and let's go back. And there is a transaction to activate the services. I will also leave you this transaction code in the description. Double click, activate and maintain services. Then go to add service. In system alias, insert local. All of these transactions are provided by SAP in the SAP node. I'm exactly following the instructions. So in system alias, we insert local and then you can use search. Paste the service name here. Let me remove this. And okay. So here is our service. All you need to do is to select and click on add selected services. So now in the package assignment, you can either insert a package if you know what this is, or just click on local object and then save. Service was created and its metadata was loaded successfully. Okay, now we solved this error. So if I go back and let's try to run SAP Fury again, slash n slash ui2 slash flp. And let's see if we are able to use our transaction now. Or maybe before we try to use the application, we should try to solve the other errors. So let's go back to SAP GUI and go to the error log. And now we solved number 23. And I will try to do another error. So double click here. And here we have another service that we are missing. So again, I will do the same steps. Service was created and its metadata was loaded correctly. All right. Now let's go and check the last error. So 23 and 24 are done. Let's move to 25. Double click here. Vocabulary annotation file not found in SAP GW server. So this is a different error from the last two. So before we go into how we can solve this error, let me try to run the transaction one last time. Let's see if we can use it now. So to open SAP Fury again, slash n slash ui2 slash flp, and click on manage costing runs. Ah, now the application is working fine. So we don't have to solve the last error. Maybe it resulted from the other two errors. So anyway, the application is working and our job here is done. So this is it for the video today. Let me know if you run into any other errors with SAP Fury when you are trying to add a new application or when you are trying to use an existing one. And I will see if I can help you solve the errors. So share with me any errors you find. Share with me any ideas you have. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.